Nigeria's capital, one of the brushest, fastest, newest cities in Africa. But Abuja is just the start of our journey. It's a drive of nearly 900 kilometers through four states, each with their own challenges and opportunities. And finally, to my degree, the birthplace of Boko Haram. Our mission, to find the stories of ordinary Nigerians caught up in extraordinary times. We're just a few kilometers along the road and the influence of Abuja is waning. You see how the congestion is, it's not like Abuja. Instead of vehicles piled up in traffic, more and more we see motorcycle taxis. Our first pull-in, a place called One Man Village. The reason why they are calling him One Man Village is there is a one person that starts living in this place. Beyond One Man Village, it's farming country. We just passed in Nasara State, we entered Kaduna State. The roads are good, but the driving's a challenge, particularly if you want to overtake. And already, less than 150 kilometers from Abuja, the first evidence that we're moving into more dangerous territory. These roadblocks are becoming more or less permanent fixtures now. <laughs> Travelers on this road provide a living for many who live alongside it. An African delicacy, roast maize, fruits of all kinds, on sale by the roadside. After parting with some money, the locals pause for us. Innocent smiles reflecting the resilience of the people. We've been driving now for just over an hour, and perhaps the most amazing thing is this could be anywhere in Africa. There's so much resemblance across so many countries. But in the last hour of this leg of the journey, we're driving into a storm. This rain means welcome to Jos. Jos is the main city in Nigeria's plateau state. It sits almost exactly on the divide between north and south. Where does the name Jos come from? The different uh, ethnic groups around here will tell you uh, the different meanings. Uh, some will tell you it's jolt, uh, some will tell you it's gouache, uh, but all alluding to uh, spring, uh, spring. It's, it's related to water springing out of the ground. Uh, but of course, others would also like to see it in a religious, um, uh, in a religious way by saying that it is Jesus our Savior. It is here we will spend our first night. Wabat Nagila, CCTV. Joe's, Nigeria.